So this is my portable USB streaming stick. I can take this wherever I go, plug this into any computer, and all of my favorite Android applications, the ones I use on my Fire Stick or my Nvidia Shield, are all running on this stick. I can use these applications, download new applications, and save all of my changes on this amazing stick. And watch what happens when I plug it into my computer. And here we can see my Android stick has now loaded. I have access to all of my favorite applications. I can open up a browser like Firefox, for example, and that's working great. I can minimize that. I can start some streaming applications. Let's try this one over here. And the performance of this is just so much faster compared to an Android emulator like BlueStacks or something else. Let's say, for example, to watch this thing over here. I can click on that. One click. Uh, let's choose an episode. Click on play. And in less than five seconds, four, and there it is, that's already playing. So definitely the performance of this is really impressive. Let's close that down. I can also open up file linked and get access to all of our favorite repositories and install any application we like. And of course you can install any emulators that you like. And this does actually come with the built-in NES emulator. So let me click on that now. And I think you do get a couple of games built in with this. So here we go. Uh, let's just try uh, this one over here. All right, and here we are playing retro games from a USB stick on this laptop over here. Let me just see I can do stuff. There we go, nice jump. So in this video today, let me show you how you can also make a portable streaming stick that you can use on any device and get access to all of your favorite Android applications. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to make your own portable streaming stick, we're going to need just two things. Firstly, we need to have a USB drive, and I do recommend buying a USB 3 drive if your system supports it. And I also recommend you buying um, a branded device like maybe a Kingston or maybe a SanDisk. Don't go for the cheap unknown brands. And the minimum space you need is just six gigabytes of space. Now, as we can see on the screen, guys, you can get a 16 gig USB 3 flash drive from SanDisk for under $10. And the key thing to understand is that anything that you download, anything that you install, all of those disk writes, all of those changes, all of that's going to be happening directly on that USB drive. So it is important to get the fastest one that's compatible on your device. Now, once you have the USB drive, we also need to get some software. Now, to get that software, if you go over to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, go to the download section, and right at the bottom of this list, which you see there is a dedicated section for Android on PC. And what we're looking for is the Phoenix OS USB installer. Now, the Phoenix OS is based on Android 7.1. And as we saw at the start of this video, the performance of running Android directly on a USB drive or a hard drive is going to be so much faster versus Android through an emulator like BlueStacks or Knox. Okay, so let's click on that and let's scroll down and click on the green download button. And this will actually take you to a mega link um, and the file is around about 600 meg in size, 634. So we can click on download and we can see that starts downloading straight away on our device. Let's give that a second. Once that's finished, let's open that up. So this is what the application looks like when you first start it. The first option we have is to install Phoenix OS directly onto the hard drive, uh, which we don't want to do in this video. What we're going to go for is a second option, which is to make a U-Disk, a USB disk. And what this means is, is that the entire Phoenix operating system, Android 7.1, will be installed onto that USB drive. And that means any computer we plug that into will have full access to an Android system. We can download applications, we can install applications, we can make changes. Everything will be saved to the USB drive and no changes will be made to the actual hard drive in that computer. So let's click on Make U-Disk. And this will then ask you to confirm which drive is your USB drive. So make sure you select the right USB drive. So my drive is the E drive. And we can then click on Write. Now the great thing is this process doesn't actually wipe the contents of the USB hard drive. Typically when you are mounting ISOs and burning ISO images onto USB drive, the first part of that process is normally to wipe the contents of the USB drive. But with the Phoenix installer, it's just going to copy files to the USB drive. It's not going to wipe that first. So let's click on Write. And that then starts the process. And just while you're waiting, guys, if you are enjoying these kind of videos, 
if you want to see more tutorials for the second generation Fire TV Cube or the brand new Nvidia Shield Pro or any of the Amazon devices or even the brand new TiVo 4K stream which should be here in a few days then please do like this video and also think about subscribing and I've also enabled the channel membership so if you guys want to show support for my work and also be a part of an exclusive Tech Doctor UK community starting at just one dollar do have a look out for that join button on my channel and just see if there's anything there that you like thank you okay once you see this message that means that the process is now completed we can now take out that usb drive and plug it into any computer and just as a reminder it doesn't matter what's on the computer if it's running windows 7 windows xp windows 10 or even linux everything we do we're going to do from the usb drive and any changes that we make anything that we download or anything that we install all of those will once again be written on that usb drive so let me now take out the usb drive plug it into my laptop and i'll then plug that into my capture card so we can see exactly how this operating system boots for the first time then i'll show you how you can configure it how you can download applications install your favorite applications and get the most from this and here we can just see when the system first starts up we get to firstly choose the language Let's click on this thing over here. Let's just select English United States. And here we are on the home screen of our new Android portable streaming stick. Let's just double check to see what version for Android this is. Uh, let's go over to settings. Let's go down. Click on about. And here we can just confirm this is running Android 7.1.1. Okay, let's back out of that. Now, before I start doing anything, the first thing I like to do is just configure a Bluetooth mouse. Now, depending on what kind of computer or laptop you're installing this into, you may be using a USB mouse, but on my device, as I only have a trackpad, I'm going to go to Bluetooth. Let's click on that. Let's turn Bluetooth on, just to make sure that Bluetooth is working on our portable stick. Okay, that then starts scanning the devices on my home network. Uh, let's find my mouse. Okay, let's put my mouse into pairing mode. That should start flashing. There we go. Let's see if that then appears over here. Here it is. Let's click on that. Give that a second. And there we can see that the mouse is now connected. Let me put this mouse down. And there we can just see I have just so much better control using a mouse versus the touchpad. Okay, let's close that down. And let's now start loading up our streaming stick. So let's close this down. Now the first thing we'll notice over here is you do actually have the back button, the home button, and also the recent button here. So you do get built-in browser with this, but as it's Chinese based, it's called the Stardust browser and it is based off Chromium. But so the browser I recommend using on your USB stick is Firefox. Now the easiest way to get that on your device is just start the built-in browser and then just search for Firefox APK Pure. When you see the first link here, let's click on that and click on download. And this will download that APK directly onto your device. Once that's downloaded, we can now open that up now we can see all of the applications by default do appear in your start menu, but if you want to put them onto your home screen, you can do a right click and select add to desktop. And I'm also going to select pin to taskbar. So we can see it down here now. And I'm going to remove the built-in Chinese one. So let's unpin that and let's click on that now. And here we can see we now have a full working browser on our device that we can use to access all sorts of content. Okay, so we have a working browser. Let's now load up some applications. I know lots of you do prefer to use file links. So in this demonstration, let's get that. Let's just type in get.filelink.com. And that should instantly start downloading or once we click on always the application directly onto our device. Now let's give it access. That starts downloading. Let's click on open. Let's click on install. So we can see guys, once we do get a working browser, it is very, very easy to install applications onto our USB stick. Okay, let's open that up. Now I don't need to go into details about the file link because I'm sure you guys know how to use it already. So let's just open up a store. And here we can see we get access to a massive library of applications. Let's go for MX Play, let's click on that. And within one second that starts downloading. Let's click on the play button. Click on install. That's now all done. Let's click on done. And let's just install one more test application. Uh, let's just go for this one over here. Click on download. And we can just see how fast that comes down and click on play. Click on install. So we've now installed two applications from that store. Let's click on done. Let's close this down. Now, as previously mentioned, guys, any applications you do install, they will appear here. Here we can see we've got a file link, we've got MX Player, and we've got this thing over here. But if you want to bring them to your home screen, let's just do a right click, add to desktop, add to desktop, and add to desktop. So we now have three applications which are now permanently going to be running from our USB drive. 
Uh, let's just open up this one over here and we can see that's working absolutely fine. That's working great. And of course, guys, you can customize this stick exactly how you like it. You can change the size of the icons. If you want to change the background, let's press and hold here on the desktop. Click on change wallpaper. Uh, let's go for this one over here. And uh, let's go for a nice image like this one. Click on set wallpaper. And there it is, guys. So really easy to customize your streaming stick. So we've installed some applications. We've uh, customized the background. Uh, we've got our own browser, which we can use to download and stream other things. And lastly, if you want to do emulation, as mentioned, this operating system does have a built-in NES emulator, which is Panda NES. Let's click on that. Give that a second. And we can now see we get access to a couple of these games over here. So uh, let's just try good old Contra and that's working absolutely fine. Okay, let's close that down. Let's try the recents button and we can click on close. Uh, let's try this application over here, make sure it works okay. And we now get access to all of this great content. And the last thing, which is the key thing, if you do actually reboot this device or plug this USB stick into another computer, do we still see all of our applications, all of our customizations, or do we lose those changes? So let's just try that now. So let's click on the start button, click on the power. Let's do a restart. And let's see exactly what happens when this thing starts. And in case you guys are wondering, the competition for the Vankyo uh, tablet and also the three RD accounts is now finished. So we'll be drawing the winner in the next day or so. So make sure you guys are tuned in for that. Okay, so my system has just restarted. And as we can see, none of those shortcuts are actually on the desktop. And let's check the start menu. Okay, so it does actually keep those applications installed, but for whatever reason, it doesn't keep those shortcuts. And um, that is a bit strange because we do see the background change that I made. So this must probably be a bug with the software that although we can install applications, we can save changes in those applications. Unfortunately, we cannot seem to save our icons to the desktop or not that I can see anyway. Well, that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching and many thanks for staying till the end. If you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.